Hi, hello peeps. So this is going to be a neurology class. You are Shami Stefan. Uh, where are we going to start from the neural development? So without talking much, let's just start. Now we have the neural cord here. Uh, okay, first let me just draw the layers. So we have three layers. As we all know, the first one is going to be the ectoderm and the other the middle one is going to be the mesoderm and the last one is going to be the androtron as we can just see here also in the trichrome we have these three layers and so from the mesoderm we are going to have uh, in mesoderm we are going to have notochord this is a notochord quite colored now here this mesoderm uh, mesoderm is making up the notochord now the notochord is actually getting fused or induced into this ectoderm and now it's getting differentiated into the neuroectoderm neuroectoderm and forming a neural plate now let's just see it here we have these three layers the upper layer you know middle layer and the Okay, now in the middle layer, you can see the notochord here. Okay, so this is getting fused, as we can see here. And it is getting differentiated into the neuroactoderm. And which, uh, I mean, the neuro uh, plate um, here we can see. But neuro plate is um, coming from the neuroactoderm here. Now we have this neural fold. And it is getting folded. So, um, getting a fold or getting a packed up or closing up, we are seeing that neural plate gives rise to the neural tube and neural crystals. So, here we can see it's all closed up, it has all folded, and now it is a neural tube here, and the leftovers are the neural crystals. This all development is um, happening within the weeks. Um, and this is like uh, from the 8 day 18 to day 21. The other thing they're saying is that the notochord becomes a nucleus pelvis of the introvertible or disc in adults. So, this is the question they ask usually, um, but they ask it manipulating it um, like in some other form, but you need to remember it so you can actually answer it. So, um, like in our introvertible disc, we have this kind of a space which is um, called nucleus well polish and it is coming from the notochord. This is something you need to get into a mind. Now this lateral wall of this neural tube is uh, getting divided uh, into the alert, alert plate and the basal plate. So these plates are coming from the neural tube, lateral wall. The alert plate uh, is going to be dorsally and the basal plate is going to be ventricle. Let me just draw it for you. We have this spinal cord orientation, and here we have these thorns. Horns, actually. So, these horns the upper horn is sensory, and the lower one is motor. So, that's what. Now, we have this sensory, which is actually the alpha plate here, and this motor is uh, here, the basal plate. So now we have got an uh, imagination of it kind of through the diagram. Now let's look further. Uh, and the uh, alloy plate uh, is going to be dorsally. It's uh, getting induced. It's going to get induced by BMBs, which is uh, bone, um, which is bone, uh, bone morphogenetic uh, proteins. And the basal plate we have here, um, this one, is going to get induced from sonic uh, hedgehog genes which is um, SHH now let's come back to our um, this trigram now this neural crystal we see is um, going to give us the PNS also it's going to give us adrenal uh, medulla and these um, yeah and now let's just see these uh, layers again so the um, so this upper layer here which is like ectoderm is uh, going to get into the skin 
Now it's going to get um, the skin and this is going to make the muscle. Let me just write it. Yeah. So, yeah, this is going to be the skin and this is going to be the muscle. The mesoderm is going to give the muscle and this, the endoderm is going to give us the, guess what? Fever. My writing skills are very bad though, but then I guess you can cope up with it. So then you're going to have the GIT and what more? Lungs. And now this uh, neural tube is, um, as uh, the neural crystals are getting developed into the ENS, so the neural tube of course going to get developed into the central nervous system. Now let's see the regional specification of the living brain, uh, which is basically neural tube, they're talking about the neural tube. Here we have the pri three primary vessels, we can see over uh, here, the forebrain, uh, midbrain and the hindbrain. And it is uh, kind of divided into wall and the cavity, which we're going to see the further. But then for now, uh, let's see what is the name of forebrain here. So the forebrain is prosencephalon, the midbrain is mesencephalon, and the hindbrain is thrombencephalon, which is now further divided. Uh, the forebrain is further divided in dinocephalon and dinocephalon. Um, then the midbrain is divided in mesencephalon, and hindbrain is. Um, Again, divided into metencephalon and my myelencephalon. So these are the five secondary vessels which we saw. Now these are the walls and cavities you can see. So the walls is um, telencephalon is going to get into the it's going to get developed into the cerebral hemispheres. Dinocephalon is going to get uh, developed into the thalamus and hypothalamus. Also, I want to add some more here. Uh, cerebrum hemisphere uh, is um, there, but then the basal ganglia is also going to develop from here. So let me just write it for you. Mind my writing again. I guess you can understand. So yeah. And these um, dinosaphalon is going to get developed into the thalamus and hypothalamus. Also, it's going to get developed into the retina. So it's um, kind of an asked question. Usually, so let's just remember this retina thing here. Then we have the mesencephalon, which is giving us the midbrain, and metencephalon is giving or it's getting divided into the two things, which is pons and uh, cerebrum. Uh, myelencephalon is giving us medulla. And here we have saw its spinal cord. Uh, now let's see the cavities, which is like quite interesting to know about. So in this hemisphere, we have um, um, a CSF, which is like a spinal fluid, or it is also called cerebral fluid. Here we have these two lateral hemispheres, and here um, it uh, the, the fluid is in here, in the lateral ventricles. And as you can see, lateral ventricles. Now, uh, the third ventricle is going to get into the third ventricle. It is a drainage system, basically. And now it's going to get um, drained into the aqueduct. Uh, this duct is going to get to the upper part of the uh, fourth ventricle, which is pons, and uh, then it's going to get to the lower part of the fourth uh, ventricle, which is medulla. Cerebrum is uh, not here because um, cerebrum is kind of uh, opposite side of uh, it, if you can imagine the diagram. Uh, right now so that's how it is happening this is all about the regional specification of the brain now let's look further so now see the central and peripheral nervous system origins we are going to see the origins of this so the neural epithelia and neural tube um, is going to give us cns uh, neurons um, of course uh, where we are going to have epidymal cells um, and then you're going to have obligo dendroid cells as sites. So uh, these are the cells we're going to have, and let's know about the epi, dim, uh, epi, 
pyramidal cells uh, it's going to uh, going to go uh, it's going to be on the ventricle sides um here the ventricle side is going to be here 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 and it's going to make the csf okay which we saw like here and obligo dentrio sites are basically um cells which are involved in the electrical uh, electrical transmissions and SU sites are the majority of cells we have in our CNS. Now uh, we're going to have the neural crest cells, which I told you in the first slide that is going to give us the uh, PNS, the peripheral nervous system neurons and Sichuan cells. Now we have the mesoderm. So the mesoderm is going to give us the uh, microphases, microglia, microglia. So that's what, uh, this is it for um, this meso slide.